Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make hot chocolate marshmallow cookies. I've never made these cookies before. My friend hosts a Christmas cookie exchange every year and I want to try these out because I think I might want to bring them. So we're going to do this together. In a medium bowl, we're going to whisk our dry ingredients together. Flour, baking powder, baking soda, and our salt. I just want to get these kind of whisked together. I'm going to be adding hot cocoa mix. This is, the, this is a half cup and it's the equivalent of about three to four packets of hot chocolate mix or hot cocoa mix. It's already sweetened. It's not unsweetened chocolate. So don't get it confused. Here I have my stand mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can definitely use a hand mixer. That's fine. And we have to get our butter and our sugar mixed up together really well. So this is a half cup of unsalted butter. This is a half cup of brown sugar. I love using brown sugar. It just, it gives the uh, cookies a lot of moisture and depth of flavor. We're gonna beat this on medium for about three minutes until everything is smooth. Now it's time to get our egg in there and our vanilla. We're ready for our dry ingredients. Just wanna give it a little bit more of a whisk, 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 before we add it to our sugar and butter. So I'm gonna mix this on low just until everything is incorporated. You do not wanna overmix your cookies. So this all seems to come together really nicely. It's turning a really nice dark chocolate color. And last but not least, we're gonna add in our chocolate chips. I think the chocolate chips are just gonna add even more chocolatey goodness to this cookie. I've lined a baking sheet with parchment paper. And what I have here is a one and a half tablespoon scoop, or what I would call my medium scoop. We're just gonna fill it with the cookie mixture and just plop it right onto our cookie sheet like that. You want to space your cookies two inches apart. So our cookies are looking nice and uniform. This is what you want. And we're going to pop these in the oven at 375 for nine minutes. And then we'll take them out and go on to the marshmallows. So while our cookies are baking, I have 12 marshmallows. These are large marshmallows. If you don't have large marshmallows, you can always use mini. I would suggest using like three mini maybe four, but what we're gonna do is cut them in half this way, just with a knife so that they look like that. And we'll do this for all, all 12 marshmallows. I would suggest after cutting them that you put them sticky side up, that way they won't stick to your cutting board or your counter, wherever you decide you want to cut these up. All right, so they just came out of the oven and they are looking poofy, just like I like them. And we're gonna take a marshmallow, cut side, sticky side down, and just put it on the cookie and push it in ever so slightly, I think. There we go. And we'll do these for all 12. And you're, and you're probably thinking, well, you're gonna have 12 left. And we are, and we do, because we have a whole other tray of cookies to get into the oven. This makes 24 cookies, no more and no less. All right, there we go. <clears throat> this is, <laughs> oh, I, I just can tell that these are gonna be great. Now that the marshmallows are on, we're gonna put this back into the oven for two minutes. Wow, here we are, look how they turned out. Yum, the marshmallows are really nice and soft. They're a little crusty on the top, which is great. And I think what I would like to do is put a chocolate drizzle on top just to dress them up a little bit. Cookies are all cool. And I've decided I am, I'm not gonna just drizzle, I'm gonna coat the marshmallow on top with chocolate because I'm worried that the marshmallow is gonna get hardened up it, the more we leave it out. For ha-has, okay, let's see here. I want to just break one of these open. Look at that. Oh, look at how that marshmallow pulls. I love it. What I've done is I've chopped up 
these are this is a baking bar and my aim is to just coat the marshmallow really well and you can get that effect better by using a baking bar as opposed to to semi-sweet chocolate chips so I've gone ahead and I've melted about six ounces we'll see if I need more but we'll start with this and see where we get okay here we go now this could work out really well or not so well let's see I just want to get the chocolate all over the marshmallow like that you'll notice that I've kept the parchment paper underneath this cooling rack to get any drips that might happen as I'm doing this okay this is kind of okay so far so far so good Here we are. The cookies that I've covered up with the chocolate will take about an hour for this chocolate to actually set. When the chocolate sets on these cookies with the marshmallows, I'm going to use some sparkling sugar just to give it a little lift. So I went ahead and I dipped these cookies in the sparkling sugar. Sorry I didn't catch that on camera, but I just want you to look. It almost looks like the cookie has little snowflakes on it. And I think that's perfect when you're going to a Christmas cookie exchange. And I cut one in half. These don't have the sparkling sugar on it, but just to give you an idea of what, what it's gonna look like on the inside. Yeah, I think these, these came out better than I expected. And I'm gonna take a bite. I think these are gonna be perfect for my cookie exchange. And I think they'd be great for you to make too. And I think they would make great gifts. Take them to a, a cookie exchange or just make them for your family because you love them. Thanks for joining me today, everyone, on my cookie experiment. I think that these hot chocolate marshmallow cookies turned out better than expected. And they're gonna be great for the cookie exchange that I'm going to later this month. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time.